There's many that say that they believe he's not from this world, an alien, a fallen god, that we had the lucky years with him here on earth for a very small time. It just might be true with what we saw from David Bowie, what he accomplished in the world of art, a career and a legacy that's not slowing down and won't be disappearing anytime soon. Even though David's been gone from us for almost a decade now, his life would end abruptly, fast and privately, but David still writing songs until his last breath. This is the private death of David Bowie. David Bowie had been quietly battling cancer. Breaking He's news, musician, actor, and artist David Bowie has died. I'm not a buyer of stuff. I much rather, I do tend to regard to the other major yours. headline around the world, the death of a music legend and his secret in the end. I'm sorry, I never found that poverty meant purity. When we catch up with Bowie, the last moments of his life, breathing air, he's in the last pages of his story. It's safe to say that many know of the different parts of David's life. When it comes to his art, decades of being on top of the world of fame from the view of a solo artist. It's not a bad life that David's made for himself. He's worked with many of the best in his own business. He's wrote some of the biggest songs in the world that you may not even be aware of and has also had a spotlight in film, acting, and movies. You might say some only know David from movies where he played unforgettable roles, characters that he made. But as David lives his private life, a friend would message Bowie saying, I would love to do something for your birthday this coming year. Bowie simply replied, I'm sorry friend, but I've simply run out of birthdays. Unbeknownst to the world and to many people around Bowie, he was hiding a secret, an awful secret, that he was dying right in front of everyone and we didn't even know it. Bowie had liver cancer, the pain he dealt with and knowing what his future was going to be, Bowie simply just lived out his life and continued to do what he did, always. It seems like a missed opportunity if he didn't. It's in Bowie fashion. He starts to direct his last album towards his death. It's a gift and a surprise to Bowie fans because they all think he's retired. Bowie's cancer was first discovered in 2014 and in the beginning of the early stages of the liver cancer, it was treatable. David started to take chemo and becoming a recluse from the public. He had simply disappeared for a moment, but by the middle of 2015, things are looking up. Bowie is in remission. He would turn up for a recording session for his final album, Black Star, with no hair or eyebrows, shaved all the way from the chemo. When he walked into the room for his band to see him, he swore everyone to secrecy, that no one say anything, wanting no one's pity or sympathy, just to simply do his work and focus on that. But late in 2015, Bowie's remission had run out, and sadly that November, the cancer had returned and this time, it was terminal and spread around David's body. He knew this was it, that the cancer coming back so fast was going to take him eventually at some point. So knowing that Black Star is more or less a goodbye letter, David was living in New York City amongst the people he called his neighbors, finishing his last album in one of his favorite studios. As David had started recording in the beginning of 2015, 100% for Black Star. David is said to be in a great mood the whole time, other than him making music. The big element in his life that he puts first was his personal life, his wife, and his daughter. David remarried in 1992 to Amon, having a lavish wedding in David Bowie fashion with recognizable guests that play a huge role in David's life with friendship and inspiration. He wanted to grow old with his new wife over the next decades building a life in New York City and having a child together. David said for the first time he wanted to be around his children all the time growing up. He missed it the first go around, but this one he wanted to be around to show that he was a doting father. And that's exactly what David did, taking the time to be a father and a husband that was in the moment always. And it was his last good moment he had, unbeknownst to him. 
Davids in the last days of his life, running out of time fast as the cancer sneaks back into him. His body starts to break down. It's coming for all of him. Even David is unaware of how bad it is this time. While filming his last music video, Lazarus, his treatment was done and his fate was sealed. As December rolls around, David's last December, his last Christmas, it's also the last moments that the world would see David. He's at the premiere of his Lazarus video. He's smiling, looking happy. Still no one knows that David is dying right in front of them. He's kept the secret and he's going to take it with him. It's the last time crowds of people will call out the name Bowie, asking for autographs, flashing lights right into David's eyes, making his last shadow. His fate awaits him just days away. David knew he was going to die soon, still making plans for his album release date, trying to do what he can, still loving the job that he's always had. But sadly, David became sicker and faster than he thought he would. More than likely, David's going faster and harder than he should be, draining himself. As David has his last Christmas, his last New Year's, he finds himself in January of 2016. His last week, David's not well. He knows it's almost his time to leave. But on January 8th, Black Star is released, and the world starts to see and communicate to one another that they're seeing the darkness in the album. And somewhat confused, they wouldn't have to wait long to know the true meaning of the whole album. Two days later, on January 10th of 2016, David Bowie would breathe his last day. He dies in his apartment that he shared with his wife and daughter, lying in his bed, gone in 69. When the world finds out, it seems that no one knows what to do or what to say. People are confused and having to come to terms with the grip that they lost someone, that it just always seemed like they would always be there. Almost like Bowie couldn't die. He wasn't human, but something took him away from us. David's death may still be to this day the most tight-lipped death in history. No one still to this day talks of the very last moments of David. His true words, his whispers, his promises, and what he wanted. It was a private death, and that's what he was given. It's sad to see not only an artist leave us, but it's hard to see the loss of a husband and father that was right in the middle of a new big life that he had built. And he's not there anymore, not in flesh and blood. It's safe to say that Bowie will not be a name that's lost from the world anytime soon. In decades from now, someone will find the name Ziggy Stardust and fall into a new love of sound and art. David loved life. He made it obvious for everyone to see. If David could have lived a thousand years, making a thousand years worth of art, he would have done just that because people would have paid attention to it. One person's life that made such a difference for so many people and continues today. Before the death of David Bowie, in a weird way, it just seems to be another side of David that he had planned for us. Long live the memory and art of David Bowie. I think it's terribly dangerous for an artist to fulfill other people's expectations. I think they produce, they generally produce their worst work when they do that. And if the other thing I would say is that if you feel safe in the area that you're working in, you're not working in the right area. Always go a little further into the water than you feel you're capable of being in. Go a little bit out of your depth. And when you don't feel that your feet are quite touching the bottom, you're just about in the right place to do something exciting.